Hey there! Welcome to AB Engineering Guild, the channel where we explore everything about agricultural and biosystems engineering in the Philippines. Today, we're bringing you 10 ABLE review questions to help you prepare for the upcoming Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Licensure Exam. These questions cover both theoretical concepts and board-style computations, so make sure you've got your paper and pen ready. Let's get started. Area 3. Part 2. 1. What term refers to the sudden failure or deformation of a structural element, like a column or beam, under compressive stress? A. Shearing. B. Cracking. C. Buckling. D. Warping. Answer. C. Buckling. 2. It is a mixture of gases primarily composed of carbon monoxide, CO, hydrogen, H2, and often small amounts of carbon dioxide, CO2, and methane, CH4. It is produced through the gasification of carbon-containing materials, such as coal, natural gas, biomass, or even waste products. A. Biogas. B. Natural gas. C. Singas. D. Propane. Answer. C. Singas. 3. In biogas production, what is the term for the organic material fed into the digester? A. Effluent. B. Substrate. C. Slurry. D. Fertilizer. Answer. B. Substrate. 4. What is the seventh and last principle of HACCP system? A. Establish corrective actions. B. Establish verification procedures. C. Establish record keeping and documentation procedures. D. Conduct hazard analysis. Answer. C. Establish record keeping and documentation procedures. 5. According to Philippine Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Standards, what is the maximum recommended length of a greenhouse? A. 25 meters. B. 40 meters. C. 50 meters. D. 60 meters. Answer. C. 50 meters. 6. What is shown in the image? A. Straw walker. B. Sieve. C. Cutter bar. D. Rasp bar. Answer. D. Rasp bar. 7. What is shown in the image? A. T and G. B. Butt joint. C. Lap joint. D. Mortis and tenon. Answer. A. T and G. Also known as tongue and groove. 8. In a woodworking station, five pieces of workbenches are required. According to the engineer's design, each workbench will need 10 pieces of lumber measuring 2 inches by 3 inches by 12 feet, and 6 pieces of lumber measuring 2 inches by 2 inches by 6 feet. The question is, how many board feet of lumber are needed to build just one workbench? A. 65 board feet. B. 72 board feet. C. 80 board feet. D. 96 board feet. Just pause the video if you want to answer. Answer. B. 72 board feet. 9. Consider a heat exchanger where oil is flowing through a pipe that has a thermal conductivity of 0.5 watts per meter Kelvin. The pipe is 2 meters long and has a cross-sectional area of 0.01 square meters. The oil enters the pipe at a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius, while water enters at 20 degrees Celsius. If the temperature difference between the oil and the water is 60 degrees Celsius, what is the rate of heat transfer through the pipe? A. 0.10 watts. B. 0.15 watts. C. 0.20 watts. D. 0.25 watts. Answer. B. 0.15 watts. 10. Suppose we have a pipe with a radius of 0.05 meters. The thermal conductivity of the pipe material is 0.5 watts per meter Kelvin, and the length of the pipe is 2 meters. The temperature of the oil flowing through the pipe is 80 degrees Celsius, while the temperature of the water surrounding the pipe is 20 degrees Celsius. Calculate the heat transfer rate. A. 0.100 watts. B. 0.118 watts. C. 0.150 watts. D. 0.200 watts.
Answer, B, 0.118 watts. That wraps up our ABLE Review 2025, Area 3. Stay focused, stay consistent, and don't forget, every quiz is a step closer to your license. Follow AB Engineering Guild for more review questions, tips, and motivational content. Like, share, and tag your review buddies. Let's pass the board exam together, one question at a time.